Animal Arena, Mushroom Arena gameplay by Adventure Islands Games. If you have not already, uh, Animal Arena is a game that he released a couple of days ago, which I highly recommend you guys check out, especially because it's a throwback to Battle Slimes, and I had a blast with it. Um, within like two days, I've unlocked all animals and basically just uninstalled the game because like I farmed for them just to see what their names are, and because for some reason, most of them I didn't know the names of. Which is really cool. But anyways, let's get into it. We have the crow, the moose, the fox, and the red panda going at it here. Uh-huh. So the mushroom arena has you, like, bouncing on mushrooms. Nothing nothing too uh, special. Yes, sir. Let's put this over here. I might consider getting it again just to have fun. I don't know. I might as well do that. Oh, by the way, sorry I didn't say this. If you hear any like mouth noises, I'm doing. I'm chewing gum right now. So. Sorry, fox picked up the fire. Why does it have yellow eyes? Do foxes ever have like yellow eyes? Not so. Oh, who's gonna get the bomb? The moose did. And the way it just bounces on it until it explodes is really cool. Like a firework almost. The firework was a, um... Was a... A, a, a power-up in Battle Slams. So was the boomerang. Actually, my, just, right after this video, I might install it again just to have fun. Why the heck not? And of course, uh, Chris of Jacob did a marvelous job on the music. Up, oh, Fox got the saw. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and wow, Moose won. Oh, he, just he was the Moose. I didn't even realize. I thought he was the Crow this whole time because Blue is normally, of course, player one. Dang, okay. Congrats. Alright, we have next. This is Art of Rally Trailer by Noodle Cake. This is some sort of racing game they released. Art of Rally also. You gotta upscale this to 720 if that's possible. Yeah, yeah basic racing game. I don't think there's anything special. Really? Bit interesting. I don't know though. Wow, it's basically like an open world r rally. Open world rally racing. Pre reg on Google. Okay, pre reg on Google and App Store. I don't know when it's gonna release. Uh, Confair Arena gameplay in Animal Arena. Yeah, I don't need to elaborate further. I already um played Animal Arena on the release date. You guys should check it out. So here we go. Yeah, that the green the green animal I said I didn't know of that's the that's the wombat and the, of course that Sonic is the hedgehog and the shadow is named Edgehog, which is really cool. Um, well, well, when I unlocked it, it's really cool. And the flamingo and that's a gecko. I said lizard, the yellow. And Jussie is the gecko. Uh, gecko, yeah. My second guess was Newt for some reason, but. I said, oh, I should. Sorry, for some reason I was toying with the volume a little bit. Alright, uh, who's winning so far? Jesse, of course. Oh, by the way, Conveyors Arena is as it seems. I really do like how it's just a Sonic and Shadow as like hedgehogs instead of a regular hedgehog. It is really cool. Alright. Jussie is still winning. Alright, you need picked up the, sh the helmet. Uh -uh -uh. 
And the I was about to say something, but that uh, about like the full uh animal encyclopedia. But anyway, I was talking about the slime, you know. But hey, that was good. Um, or could oh darn. Uh, I'm not risking it. Da, 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 da. For some reason, uh, pausing has an issue on this phone. Unfortunately, all right. This is what the heck kind of music we're about to get into. But this is Drive Ahead. Frozen Flippers times D Wally. I don't know how to pronounce that. Festival of Lights, which is November's event. Dwali arrives. Dwali, the Festival of Lights. You guys are gonna have to give me uh things on this, and also the snow things back. Hey there, driver Reno. It's your boy Patrick Bear. Hey Patrick Welcome Bear. Back to the Drive Ahead Channel. We've got some amazing news to share with you sure. today, so make sure you watch till the end to get all the juicy details. All right. First off, on November 1st, we're kicking off the epic Frozen Flippers event. Yay! It's all about that ice, snow, and adrenaline. You'll be hitting those icy tracks with the returning winter road trip. Mm -hmm. And remember to pop those winter tire traits on, or you ain't going nowhere. Right. The best part is the fantastic reward waiting at the end, the fan-made ice golem. It is an absolute... Have, ice Golem was fan-made? Have I forgotten about that? Beast. One of my personal favorites. Yeah, the suitable vehicles would, this will be for the Army Penguin Truck, the Ice Monster, and of course the Ice Golem. But that's not all. Our November Pro Pass car is the Ice Monster. Alright. here's the kicker. You even have a chance to snag the legendary Penguin Army car for the Pro Pass Three Star Box. Cool. Now, so you get two and one, but look, but unfortunately, I do not have access to the Pro Pass. How cool is that? Really cool, literally. And speaking about the Penguin Army, in the road trip, there's the heavily armed Penguin Army base, and under it is a side path that has a mission that will reward you hundred legendary parts. What? And under it is a side path. I didn't path even see that. that. That's cool. That is really nice. Is it probably like the hardest mission? Oh, you know what? Yeah, because I did. I was basically done with the road trip. I didn't do all the levels, but I had to quit because it was too hard. It's Penguin Base Cemetery. It's not one of my favorites. It is tough. That will reward you 100 legendary parts. Mom, we're rich. <laughs> well, if it's your first time visiting the winter road trip, it's good to know that we got some secret doors locked here. I've seen that. This means you need to get to 16 and 21 on the Pro Pass. And now for something you mean rookie pass <laughs> what oh festival of lights what is this that's right the beautiful Diwali event lands you drive ahead from November 8th to 27th so let's all, right. all celebrate the festival of lights with our special drive ahead Diwali event get ready for some amazing new visuals and fun times we're introducing a rotation of four days of Diwali daily missions with three unique collection missions that will keep you on your toes. Make yeah. sure to check in every I think I checked out most of them already. Day ...to complete them and reap the rewards. But that's not all. During the Diwali event, our friend zone mode is getting a colorful makeover with Diwali-themed levels. Mm -hmm. It's a vibrant, festive twist that adds a whole new dimension to the game. So go party with your friends and friend zone them all. I did check that out. With bright colors. There you have it, folks. The incredible Frozen Flipper event started on November 1st and vibrant Diwali event from November 8th to 27th. Drive Ahead is about to get a whole lot more exciting, and I can't wait to see you all in game. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of the. Add me uploads. Give me one second. Uh, returning winter road trip. Okay, new visuals. Four days of daily missions. Okay. Drive Ahead is about to Friends get a maps. whole lot cool. more exciting, and I can't wait to see you all. Wait, so today should be the last day then, right? Because today is the eleventh. I think I started playing Drive Ahead back on the eighth. Game. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification. I think bell, this should be the last so day. Never miss out on any of the Drive Ahead action. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Patrick Bear, and I'll see you on the icy tracks and colorful Diwali levels. Bye bye. Bye, Patrick Bear. So I guess it's no surprise that Crashmas will return next month in December. So it should—it's—it's uh, it's obvious, isn't it? Okay, cool, cool updates.
um drive ahead and thank you for the update uh pat bear this is volcano arena gameplay animal arena by adventure Alex games you already know this this arena features li rising lava apart from the fire arena from battle slimes this one's entirely different which i really like we have the pangolin which just he's playing as against the bison elephant and dodo all right there goes the lava Da, 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 da. All right, and the dodo got the bomb. Oh, dodo got the bomb again. Goodness me. And there go the bison and the elephant. Da, 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 da. Whoa, okay. Alright, so far the Dodo's win and barely. Oh. Yikes. So now that this game's out, I do not know what just what game just is going to release next. Maybe a sequel or a big update to the existing games. I don't know. Cause at this point, it's hard to believe what he's gonna get, uh, what he's gonna give us next. But we'll just have to wait. After all, I do like some a uh, bit of a surprise in twist or whatever when it comes to pixelated games or just any game I play in general. I just love games. What can I say? That's why I do games reaction amalgamations. For bugging out loud. <laughs> All right, we have John Francois J. Lin returning with some pew pew up content. Content, experimenting with a mace attached to a player. Oh, we got a new, new weapon on our hands. That's really cool. This is for pew pew live too, which is interesting. Wonder when that game's gonna release. Is there anything? Let's see. Uh, in the last video, I showed maces that were attached to bombs. Okay, okay, okay. I believe he has another video coming up, but we'll see. Interesting concept. Can't wait for Pew Pew 2. Really cool. All right. More Jesse. We're going one after the other. Uh, Portals Arena. Who do we have? Okay, that ostrich looking guy I said, he's the vulture. We have the platypus, gorilla, and wolf. That's that thing I said that was a different kind of fox. For some reason, I was a dum dum. I should have known these. Dang, okay. Wolf got the hat. Alright, sorry about that. Just he's winning as always. Yeah, portals. The, the original um, arena from Battle Slimes. Nothing too special. It's maybe a bit too quiet. I don't know. Maybe that's a good thing because I don't want to risk uh, copyright stuff. Only five more seconds left. Who's gonna take on the cake? It looks like Jesse is. It's got me thinking. Oh, Jesse won. I splat us. Um. Got me thinking, should I do something about, like, when I get uh, the slime, which I did, uh, in my gameplay, I should, um, do a special video about Animal Arena? I don't know. I don't know if you guys will say the same thing, but let me know what you think. This is Random.Nick with Wristless Oscope on Steam 2023 Sizzle Reel.
Got some more horoscope stuff. I've been diving deeper into this game ever since I last played it almost a year back. We'll see what's happening here. All right, so there's Trace with the horoscope. Uh huh. The mysterious draft from outer space. Look at him go. Okay, Pedal Plaza. Okay, Gusty Groves, cool. Who knows when this thing? It's still far from done, but I'm still so I'm still giving Nick time. I'm not saying I'm still giving it time. He's he's taking a sweet time. Ah, nice. Pedal Plaza. The card game I'm not a fan of. I don't play card games. Oh, okay. Uh, Forgotten Citadel. Cool. Whoa. That's a drive power, huh? I said drive power. Cool. Horoscope. Nice trailer, dude. Press L. 2020-2020 XS Nick Ox suck. Public demo? Is it? Okay, add to your wishes. I thought I was going to say. Because I checked out the Steam page for this game. And it's in development. All it says is coming soon. Public demo. He'll he'll notify us when the demo is available. So I shouldn't have to worry so much. Cool. More Animal Arena. This is the Space Arena gameplay. Nothing too special about this. Alright. Jesse is the squirrel, facing against the axolotl, the swan, and the panda. The space arena should have had that extremely low gravity effect. Would have fit in a lot. Also, the background. I didn't even take time to appreciate it. It looks so cool. Okay, ooh. Ba -da -ba -ba. Oops, one got the powder up. I mean, it shot everybody, golly. All right, and it's winning. Shoot, Axolotl got the saw. All right, oop, Jesse got the boomerang. Cool, got everyone with it. Cool. And ooh, it was a tight game, but or a close game. But just see one. Cool. Yeah, Space Arena. And that's all the arenas in uh Animal Arena. So he's just so he's just gonna showcase a couple more things. And that'll be that for that. Um I released an F Zero game because Nintendo did by C Mag Games. So I made a video titled I made an F Zero game because Nintendo won't. Yeah, he released What was it called? G something? G G minus. That's what it's called. He released that game on. It's basically a thing on H.I.O. I should check it out for myself. Uh, not play it on my channel. A title which Let's has see. aged poorly because they did technically release an F Zero game recently. Yeah. I am of course. That's being F Zero ninety nine. Yep. While this is a welcome release, the game is based on the original F Zero game for the SNES, which, in my objectively subjective opinion is not as fun as F-Zero GX on the GameCube. Hmm. What I want to see not is a, fan of a 3D so F-Zero game similar to GX, but modernized. And yeah, oh my god, of course. Just why, man. Zero GX on the GameCube. What I want to see is a 3D F-Zero game similar to GX. But GX is the best one, you guys online. say? 
I, I originally know created again. the F0 prototype because I wanted to try and replicate the F0 GX physics in Unity. I'm still not sure why exactly I felt like doing that, but I've always felt insecure about my mathematical skills, and I struggled a lot in school, so maybe I just felt like I had to prove to myself that I'm not completely brain dead. Hey, that's anyway, cool. We're all, we're after all struggling proving to school. myself that my frontal lobe is actually somewhat developed, I guess I just kind of left the project to work on other things, primarily my indie game project Life Adventure, and of course my engineering degree at university. Okay. Recently, I noticed that the release of F-099 had caused more people to request a playable demo of the prototype I made, and hmm. I also happened to realize that I am dumb for never releasing my work. Hmm. So being an impressionable man, I couldn't help but open up the project again and start fiddling. There was a lot of work to be done before I could feel comfortable releasing the prototype to you guys, but here we are. You can now download and play the game via itch.io or mm -hmm. GameJolt, and both links can be found in the description down below. Now, this prototype is still quite limited, but I want to just quickly walk you through the current features and what I've changed and added since the original video from a few years ago. I've decided right. to give this prototype the code name G- mm -hmm. because G is the letter directly after F, and it's also short for gravity, and minus is what you get after subtracting one from zero. And G mm. minus also implies negative gravity, cool. which I found very suiting for the type of game that this is. Cool. Anyway, the networking code was kind of garbage, so I rewrote all of that using a network solution called Fishnet. Fishnet? That's what it's called. <laughs> Well, the network solution called Fishnet. Please don't Google that without also typing Unity and then oh, yeah. to that sort of thing. Yeah, I would understand. Sound effects and stock music in place to make the game feel less empty. And currently, you cannot change the volume of the music or the sound effects, but you can mute them via these buttons in the bottom of the corner. All right. The physics themselves have also been heavily tweaked, and the controls are far more responsive and refined. It used to be really difficult to turn unless you were drifting all the time, but since this isn't an initial D game, I thought I would address that. Okay. Also, the big yellow blocks that used to function as boost triggers have been replaced by these rings here instead. You used to be able to bump into the sides of the boost rings if you missed the center, and while I personally thought it was quite funny, people I played with very politely yet firmly let me know that it was annoying as well. Okay. The camera has also received a rewrite, there's still room for improvement, but at least it's more responsive now. And the FOV adjusting based on your speed makes you feel like you are actually going super fast. Unlike certain other racing games. Uh, I don't know this game. You guys are gonna have to mail. How's this over 110 kilometers an hour? Games. Over a hundred kilometers an hour. <laughs> issues and managed to yeah, it doesn't really feel like you're going faster. You will also now respawn back on solid ground. Cool. Unlike previously, where you would just continue falling indefinitely. I Dang. also ripped this track directly from F Zero GX to test out my physics system, and I noticed that it was missing air controls, so I added that. So now you can control how fast you fall while airborne. Cool. Obviously, oh. if you decide to fall as slowly as possible to better control where you're landing, you'll end up losing a bunch of speed. Gotcha. I also tried upping the speed to a crazy high amount, and as you can see in the background footage, it's possible to do some really ridiculous skips. Wow. If I end up working on this project more in the future, skips like this is definitely something that I will consider when designing tracks. It's just too much fun. It's wow. also possible to spectate other players by joining mid-race. And as a spectator, you can switch between which player you're currently spectating I see. and check out their mad racing skills. Mm. After completing a race, you will also be turned into a spectator yourself until all the other players have completed the race, or the host decides to end the race because one other player refuses to drive past the finish line. Oh. Speaking of which, there's now a menu that you can open during gameplay. Cool. If you're hosting, you can use this menu to end the race prematurely or stop the server entirely. And if you're connected to a server, the menu changes and you instead have the option to disconnect from the server at any time. 
Okay. There's also a main menu now where you can select whether to host or join a game. That's really okay. cool. It's um kind of reminding me a lot of Radical Aces Wanna just and uh, SkyMed. Yeah, you can just click the host game button here, then enter some sort of name and port, and then click host and then play. This will just host the server on your computer where you're the only connected player. But if you want to play with other people online, you simply need to hack into your dad's router and port forward whichever port you prefer to use. Now, port forwarding itself is quite simple, but I'm not going to go into details about how to do it in this video because you do need to know how to log into your own router and the user router, interface is different for every router, so it wouldn't make sense for me to cover it in this video. So, in case you need help with port forwarding, My I face encourage you ah, to shoot. look up a Stop. tutorial. So my face went accidentally for for my Minecraft server. If you need help with port wow. forwarding, I encourage you to look up a tutorial or call your internet provider. Okay. Afterwards, you just need to add a firewall rule in order to let other players join. Here's how I've set it up on my personal Windows computer. Open you actually have to do that to get others to join. Firewall, then open up this Windows Defender firewall with advanced. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll entirely. look at that for myself. After doing all of this, your friends should be able to join your server, and you can play with as many people as you'd like. I haven't fully tested the capabilities of online play with many players, so I have no idea how well it plays with a bunch of players on the same server. Currently, there's only this one track and vehicle available that Jewel created. A he, few that years was ago. mentioned as well. But I hope you'll give it a try anyway. And I, I will give it a try. In its very limited state. Yeah, after seeing this video, I'm convinced I'll give it a try for myself. Now, I just want to quickly emphasize that this is a very early prototype, and of course, there's still room for a bunch of improvements in various aspects of the game. For example, the networking itself could still be vastly improved. As you can see in the background footage, connected players still kind of don't move that smoothly and jitter mm -hmm. around a bit. And this is definitely something I'd like to spend more time on eventually, if I end up continuing work on this project in the future. Mm -hmm. but I, I really like... Jural is part of his team. I believe he's playing with his team. That's really cool. this prototype in an acceptable and playable state before going down the rabbit hole of networking optimization. I may publish more updates to G Miners in the future, but that depends entirely on whether you guys find the game enjoyable and want to see more. I might. By the way, if you're interested in F Zero games in general, I recently stumbled across this project by hmm. Aaron McDevitt called Aero GPX, which hmm. looks to be an anti gravity racing game heavily inspired by F Zero GX. And according to the Steam page, it looks like it's going to come out sometime in 2024. Cool. I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on this project myself, and I also plan on giving it a try once it eventually comes out. Best of luck to Aaron McDevitt on the development of this game. Hopefully it's going to be a success and also a fun experience to play. Anyway, that's all for me for this time. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, and until next time, take care. All right, Patrice, really cool. Please try the prototype. I will. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Also, try Vibe Renter. Yeah, I'll probably leave various uh um what's it called i cards in the description just to you know. Okay, thanks. Bye. Cool. I'll try G minus out. Don't you worry. All right. Uh, we have more Animal Arena stuff. This was before, obviously, the game came out. Uh, two more videos, in fact. This is Teemo gameplay. Here we have the Lynx, the Seagull, the Panther, and the Ant Eater. Okay. Wonder if this game ever receives an update. We should include like, since there's fish and birds and mammals, we should have insects next, shouldn't we? Not a single insect in the roster. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do,
Yeah, we do have many different factions of the animal kingdom. We do have mammals, reptiles, fish, some marsupials, I think. A, bu a little bit of amphibians, yeah, a couple of amphibians. Why not insects? And many, many more of the animal kingdom. If the, that is if this game ever sees an update, that'll be cool. Yeah, come to think of it, I think I'm gonna end up really cool. Um, end up leaving a little bit of iCard action, but anyway, that's cool. All right, this is emotional ideas again with uh, battle. Oh, not like they're back. Um, battle racing battle console RS1 promo powered by emotional ideas at www.battleracing.com. This is more insight of what um, battle racing has to offer. Hi. We are Emotional Ideas Incorporated. Hello. I'm Bria, your battle Bria? racing assistant interface. Do you have what it takes to battle race? Let's begin training. Introducing the Battle Console RS1 prototype system, a hyper immersive gaming console combining physical go kart racing okay. with advanced gaming technology and a custom game action steering wheel with the first of its kind upper and lower duo dashboard display. Right, but can I only access it from the app? Okay, man. We gotta stop. Of its kind upper and lower duo dashboard display. The lower dashboard displays the speedometer, player position, lap count, and rage meter. Mm -hmm. The upper dashboard is where the main action takes place. Battle gauge. The battle gauge is your vehicle's oh. health meter and reflects the damage your vehicle takes on. To maintain health and speed, be on the lookout for purple landmines. Ah. Power items. Virtual power items are what establishes battle racing as a new combat motorsport genre. I see. Each driver will be granted really is like Mario Kart. power items at a time. Hold the A button to activate. And depending on the type of power item activated, line up with the vehicle ahead and press and hold either R1 or L1 buttons to fire. Once deployed, yeah. two more items will be uploaded. View. Okay, rear view, okay. Introduces a rear view camera that will help you better strategize safety around opponents. Okay. And can be adjusted via your gaming console. That's nice. Selfie camera. A unique feature of the battle console is the live stream camera located in your cockpit. Okay. This streams your battle race in real time onto local TV screens and social media platforms. What? Friends and family to watch. That's cool. Landmines. These innovative landmine floor tags constantly change color throughout the race, providing either an advantage or disadvantage when driven over. I see. For example, green is a quick speed boost, red is major damage, and purple will restore your health. Cool. Battle score. Each uh -huh. driver is rewarded with a battle score based on their player position. At the end of the race, your battle score will reflect your placement on the national and global tier rankings. Good Ooh. luck, players. Do you have what it takes to battle race? I think so. Revolution now. I think so. I'm waiting on that app mainly, but still, this is really innovative. Battle racing? Interesting concept. Can't wait. Can't wait. All right, what do we have next? Uh, of course, we have a freaking what is this? Ebony ad here, Wars Alliance ad. Man, get out. Cool. Uh, this is live small gameplay by Jesse with Animal Arena. We have the squid, parakeet, walrus, and mouse going against each other. Yeah, that bird is the parakeet. I should have known from the very start. It's all colorful and stuff, so. Highly recommend you guys check this out. I'm more active now when it comes to uh, adding uh, information cards on my games and uh, cur uh, contemporary reaction videos or quaternary reaction, whatever. The present time, you know what I mean. Whatever the right word is. Alright. Cool. 
And just like that, that's the S1. It's a bit shorter than the others, but that's because it was lives. Uh, now, that I look, now that I think about it, the squid kind of looks like Goober Blooper from uh, Mario Sunshine. More emotional ideas with L's Battle Racing 3D City Hub Facility Concept Walkthrough. What a title, first off. Also, a uh, second off, I am excited. Let's see. Now, this is the hub. Virtual hub for what's to come. This all just a walkthrough. Man. Man, this is so cool. Alright, there's the racetrack. Just looking, it's just, just all okay. No, hang on. Guys, yeah, this is basically just a walkthrough of the hub. Uh, the yeah, the hub, yeah. Turbotron Battle Racing, yeah, that's the name of the thing coming soon. Hopefully, I can just play just the game so I won't have to actually um, engage in actual racing. I can just play at home on my phone. Oh, okay, yeah, it's just a hub through walkthrough of the hub. Pretty cool. Super Arcade Football. From out of the bit, we haven't seen out of the bit in, in a bit. <laughs> hey, I'll stop. But yeah, Super Arcade Football. We got another trailer. The past few months, they've been just showcasing their other game, Full Void, which I was not interested in. We're giving this a watch. Crazy modifiers. Um, yeah, Meteor. Those guys are dead. Drilling story. Oh yeah, Martin. These guys look like the characters from Super Arcade Racing, which is another game I played. You guys should go ahead and check that out. Man, making references here and left and right. Okay, ooh, whistle. Soundtrack by Barry Leach. Okay, leagues, of course. Oh, dang, like realistic football action. Goodness me. All right, cool. Get it now. Switch, PS4, Steam, and Xbox. Yeah, there's no way I have access to that, or nor am I interested. But that's fine. Oh no, no, I do not want to. Get out. All right, this is Animal Arena Mobile Release Trailer by Jesse. Why did you put the thing on? No, I want the. I want 720. Dang it! Don't want anything else. All right, yeah, the overview trailer of Animal Arena. It's out now if you guys want to, to check it out for yourselves. Nothing else needs to be said. Capybara. Yeah. Whole bunch of animals to choose from. I really want the next update if this game ever sees an update to maybe have a little bit more weapon, uh, but not weapons, power-ups. Weapons be a little bit too violent. Um. What else? And have like insects as new animals. They're not technically animals, but still, they're living things. Cool. It's out now. Get it while you can, guys. And follow on Facebook and Twitter for more updates, which I have done a long time ago. Jussie is literally one of my favorite games as of all time. Last video for today, KO underscore DLL or Matilda, whatever. I forgot the developer's actual name at this point. This is game pre-release trailer. Today is the 11th. It releases on Monday the 13th. It has a couple more days for you guys to try out the demo before its actual release. How time has flew, man. My only question, yeah, I'm available November 13th. My only question is how much is this going to cost? Yeah, more must ride. Dang it, man. Why? Well, just why? Just, 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 ah! We'll do 720 for a shoot. Yeah, this, this level like this in the trailer. This was not, this is really cool. Oh wow, dude, there's a whole lot of variety. Look at ZX8000 go. 
add to your wish list. I'll see for myself in a little bit, and that'll be that. Games with variety win my hearts every single time. That'll be all. Let's see what the next one will bring us.